Alrighty, we are out here for another investigation. We're back at the area where I had the scream. We're, what the heck is that? Did you hear that? Jeez, right off the rip. That's something screeching over there. Ah, uh, okay. So, I got with me, I got Perduncan. The Perduncan. Yo. Okay. So, I got him ha hanging over here. Turn that light off you. I know when my, when my wife came with me, there was something over there screeching up a storm. Okay. We're going to go down here and do an investigation. This is the area where I had the, uh, the uh, roar, the scream. Okay. We're looking for predator activity. Okay, wildlife, and anything else we may see, especially if we can find whatever roared at me or what has been throwing rocks at me. You can see I got the spotlight down here too. Dude, already the woods are already hearing a bunch of stuff out of the animals. We're gonna try to go down to the big ancient giant tree. Okay. We're gonna make our way through there. And uh, then we will uh, look around a little bit and then head back. We gotta head down to over to the stairway. And uh, this place already just seems alive. We're on the south ridge of Conneaut. And uh, as you know that's like the this is the wild area where uh maybe maybe a mile and a half two miles away from tinker's hollow on along the same Conneaut part of the Conneaut creek and uh about another mile down further than that is the area we call bigfoot canyon okay so lots of activity out this way So I need you to, if you see something, hear something, drop it in the comments, say something. Uh, we've got a very good community going. Uh, if you'd like to be part of that community, be respectful. But comment in, comment uh, on what everyone else is saying, what you think, your opinions. Um, it is a muggy, steamy night. My glasses are fogged up. So, it was already, I already had to take the glasses off, but it's 79 degrees still with next to no wind. Perfect night for a hike. Just a little muggy. Muggy and buggy. Yes, I expect a lot of bugs. We'll make our way into the woods to the staircase. On the staircase, I'm gonna put the spotlight there for our little beacon to find our way back. I'll have a couple of glow sticks with me too that we can mark a couple places. Last time I was down here, I was with MT Paranormal and Cameraman Jack, and we had a pretty uh, adventurous night. A lot of activity then, too. They said that they believe there was a, a juvenile Sasquatch around here, and they're more the experts on that than me. Coming up the staircase, that'll get your blood flowing, but going down ain't too bad. Look at 
this. I mean, that's just a vine. That's like a hundred and some foot high vine. <laughs> That sounded like one of those uh, great blue herrings squawking. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, I've heard uh, every time I've been down here, with or without people, I always hear a pretty good size owl. So you see, we're gonna put our spotlight up here. It's our beacon. I charged it up and it's been sitting in my car for weeks. So I hope the batteries start to charge. Hold on it. <laughs> Let's see if I can put my glasses back on yet. Yeah, that's much better. So, it's definitely, it's been a month or two since I've been down here. And it definitely looks like the ve vegetation is up much higher than the, when we were here with the cameraman and crew. This is really grown up and pretty unmaintained. Looks like Metro Parks needs to get down here and get this straightened out. Jeez, there's a lip in that, <laughs> or a trip over, watch that. Where I got some eye shine over here, but I can't tell exactly. Thought I had some low to the ground, but I wasn't catching anything on the thermal. And I'm not sure what it was. So what we want to do here is we want to make our way over to the ancient tree. Okay. Yeah. 
put a glow stick up too. You can see blue glow stick. We're gonna hang it on a path over here. See if we can find it on the way back. Every time with cameraman and clue crew, these uh, blue glow sticks seem to like to walk away or some in some way. They usually don't stay put. Okay, so we're gonna I only have a couple with me. Uh, honestly should have like eight or nine of them, but I don't. <laughs> like that's the remains of that old beaver pond. I think something killed the beaver. You can see my glow stick right there. And then uh, I'm going to get another one set up here too. This is uh, where the mucks definitely come in handy. So we got a little bit of mud to go across. And this thing fell like right over the path. So this is gonna be noisy. I think I hear the owl. Big spider web in the way. Shoo. The reason I know this is the right pathway is because I've been down here enough to remember some of the areas.
big spider here. So we're going to use the knife, cut these down. You can see the spiders on them. a lot of frogs so far. Okay. I definitely remember this spot. So we're up close here to you gotta cross over. There's one of there's one of our old glow sticks from when I was here with cameraman and MT. <laughs> it's the only one that seems to be remaining. beaver dam I can see it pretty well pretty well lined on the thermal but I think uh, I mean it's dam dried as water dried up one but I think it got something got it because they tore down the front part of the dam over here Spider webs all over me. Okay. We're up near the, the Conneaut Creek. So we're going to make it over to the tree, which we're coming up on soon. Here we go. Here's the giant tree that we made it up to. I'm gonna let Perdunkin catch up to me a little bit. Not near as many bugs out as I thought there would be. Our giants up here. Yeah. Okay. So this is our giant. Uh, I first came down here with Perduncan. Year or so ago. Go in there, Mackie. Get in there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, last time we seen a what they call. Okay. You can see just how big this is. Is flipping huge. And uh, I know him. You can see the moon over to the side there. But 
This is the one third of it that broke off. And I want to get. I'm gonna go stand up there so you got a side. Yeah, yeah, because you're a little you're a little taller than me. Verdunkin's about what six three. Yeah. And uh, you can see, it's enormous. So there's a ton of thorn bushes, but I wanted to get up near the Conneaut Creek there and try to get a view over the river and then go back a little bit behind these trees and then we'll make our way out. Actually, very surprised we've been able to ma maintain the path pretty good. You can tell, I mean, you can see where it's been used, but not heavily. <laughs> I don't know if we can get through there. Uh, yeah, I don't, yeah, that's all thorns. So we'll. We'll curve back and we'll go, uh, there's a path that goes behind those trees. That tree and the, there's another one. So. You see, there's the path right there, so. I don't know, just cut through here. Okay, that's our giant. Which I love seeing that, by the way. Worth the trip down here just to see that. Okay, and then this other big one back here. That looks like it's only been standing, able to stay standing up because it's leaning up against another tree. So, and uh, he's right over here. Last time is, look at a spider on that sucker. <laughs> it's a good size one. So we didn't really go much further back past here. Because I don't know if the trail kinda kinda ends. So I don't really know if the trail goes on. Buzzed. Look at the spider webs on. <laughs> just huge spider webs. Oh, just. Kind of make the way back. Something on a branch there. Something was using this over here. <sighs> Maybe we can see if this goes up where this goes. We can, if nothing else, we can get a better look at this giant. me stepping on all those sticks.
okay. There is a, a marked trail over here. You see, that's how you can get right over to the Conneaut Creek, right over there. That's where I wanted to try to get up to the water's edge. There's some really tall plants. But something definitely comes over here. And try to scoot up next to me. Uh, that one. Just watch your step because it goes, drops off right there. We, we can try and get a look. Bugs are like 10 times worse right by the water. This is the Conneaut Creek, Ohio's first scenic and wild river. You can see bugs galore, but I don't see any eye shine or anything. All right, well, let's start to head back in here. If we want to go this way or not because the path is not well maintained I mean they literally had a marker over here but I think we gotta try and see there's our giant gotta head back over by that we don't really want to head that way though yeah we do but instead of going through this because those are thorns through there there's an easier way to get it back around there the backtrack but Yeah, they haven't done any trail maintenance. Thought I heard something moving through the woods there. Say goodbye to the giant. Oh, there's one of our uh, glow sticks from last time as well. Uh, I can't remember what they said the estimate on this. is something like 300 years old. It's something ridiculous. Okay. So where we want to be is not necessarily on that one over here. Hung up on thorns. So there's our there's our moon up through there. I'll try and pan that light away, let you see the moon. It's uh, almost half full. Or half empty, depending on the way you look at it. Okay. Oh yeah, the that beaver was really, really eager. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
and did its job it, it, it got all the way around that tree it's going to kill it so but i think the beaver got eaten because the front part of his dam got tore down and his one over here drained out This is over to look at the beaver dam here. So we'll be going that way. Okay. This is up by the water. This is, you can see the old chutes for the beaver. There's, you can see the dam is still there on the backside. But up, oh, look like, maybe he's not, maybe he's alive. It looks like he's rebuilding. Well, that's good news. Looks like something's rebuilding up there. Because when I seen that torn down, I was literally like, what in the hell can tear down a beaver? It was big enough to tear down a beaver dam. I think we go this way. <laughs> This is a part where these paths are not very well maintained, but this looks like a way we want to go because there's the old beaver dam. So we're heading in the right direction. So there's paths that go that way, but they literally like dead end once they get you in the middle of nowhere. And then it's no fun trying to fight through the woods. <laughs> yep, see, there's our red glow stick. in the ear haven't been, bugs haven't been that bad really comparatively but there is a big big one up there here's her Yellow glow stick. Heard something that way. Sounded like a stick break. Watch out, there's a hole there. Okay. Still thinking there's a noise down this way, but I can't make out anything. See our blue glow stick. 
I'm hearing something too. I thought I heard something over that way. Huh? I I hear, yeah, I can hear the frogs and a couple of bullfrogs. Yeah, there's mushrooms. They're all like knocked over too. So, there's one of our glow sticks from the last time. But we have, uh, I can see our blue glow sticks over. Okay, watch. Well, there's our furthest one, and there's our second, or our closest one. Blue ones definitely have a tendency of running away. I don't know why exactly that is, but something likes the blue, the blue color. I heard a noise there too. Yeah, it's almost like a car noise. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's no vehicles down here. <laughs> Just kind of... Sweating like a pig at a bacon lover's convention. It is a muggy night. So there's our our blue glow stick on the other side there and we got our one coming right up here dude I'm hearing something move through the woods over this way Sounds like something's moving through over there. Alright. Here's our second glow stick. see uh, you can kind of see through the woods here let me just get to the right spot you can kind of see the, the light I put on the stairway but I see where I can get to a spot where I can yeah See if that's not you can barely see it. Barely see that light in the center there. That is from my I'm hearing sticks break behind us. Well, something's trying to follow, is what it looks like.
There it is again. I heard a stick. I'm hearing some like branches break over there. You see, when I turn that light away, just how dark it is down here. It is pitch black. to our planks. I'm still hearing something over there. I hear, I'll hear a little stick break here and there. It's from that distance over that way. This is almost like tightrope walking on this. And yeah, I f fell off of this and it's like muddy. It's just going over a swamp. Watch your step on that one. And we got the tree that fell across here. You can tell they don't. I'm still hearing stuff. That's not. That's not coming from us. Watch your step. Yeah. Sorry if I panned quick there, but I'm hearing something. signal in the sky because <sighs> now we got this the part that gets the blood pumping <laughs> going through spider webs steps we'll check when we get up here in a couple areas we're gonna take these slow just because we're not in any hurry and there's no need to make a sweat anymore can't make that out. I don't know. Almost looks like a stuffed animal. That's weird. If that was a stick break or a stone throw. But there was definitely a noise over there.
Okay, come up here, there's a spotlight. See, I can uh, spot anything. Anything I think we'll move. That cricket. I haven't been hearing a whole lot of crickets this season yet. It's been very quiet down there. Yeah. There's not much going on. No way. I mean, the frogs were making some noise. Yeah. Well, well one of the things I was saying is. When I'm alone, seems like things are way more aggressive with me than when I have somebody with me. So, this would have been, a, I think it would have been a heck of a different hike if I was by myself, which... Well, I'm surprised we didn't hear coons or deer or anything frolicking or running away from this anything. It's been super quiet. There's nothing. It's dead tonight. I kept hearing the sticks break. Oh, we started out hearing some noises. Oh. What? What's that? You gotta be dead Oh, I am. along the ridge line. Dead quiet night tonight. But a lot of the times I think it's dead quiet. My thermal cot stuff, I didn't think that it did. So that's why I always need you guys to check closely, get your, put your headsets on, get your eyes ready. You wanna walk over that way or cars that way? I mean, oh, we'll walk over this way so. Stay along the ridge line a little longer. Yeah, this uh, pavement here is reading, reading like 87 degrees. I don't think there was any airflow at all down there. There's. Not much. I mean, look at the trees. Wait, did you hear that? Yeah. Sounds like a dog. Sounds like a dog. Yeah. Yeah. I thought at first it was the owl. What? 
I mean, the next property owner is pretty far away. So, so I'm not sure where there would be a dog yapping at. Well, in the daytime, it's a nice, peaceful place, but uh, nighttime, it's pretty darn creepy. That's where we originally went, walked into the woods. Yeah, there we go. Here's our car you can loop around that way further but just head to the car so it's a pretty quiet night we'll see if that food is still up here somebody left food on the picnic table see if any animals decided to come get it yeah a few more uh, bugs are chirping up here than they were down in the valley So yeah, looks like somebody left uh, their watermelon and all kinds of garbage down here. It's a pet peeve of mine when people litter. Okay, that's all I gotta do for my listeners. Okay, straight ahead, there's the bathroom. It's not a bad moon on the right, it's the bathroom on the right. So, that's for Erica and Hattie. Alrighty. So, from the South Ridge, with the Perduncan, as you say, a farewell. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, moon high in the sky, half moon. I want to say God bless you. Thank you for watching all the way to the end.